Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. On this Thanksgiving Day, we're showing films that we hope families can all enjoy together, or something you can enjoy by yourself, far from the matting crowd. Next, we have a feature-length animated film, movie less famous than the others we've been showing, like National Velvet and Lassie Come Home, but not nearly as famous an animated film as, say, Snow White or Pinocchio. Our movie is, though, a lively and entertaining story, which marked the first and only feature-length film directed by legendary animator Chuck Jones. This after Jones had spent nearly 40 years making over 200 cartoon shorts. Not surprisingly, he chose to include animation in this first feature-length film he made. It's a mix of animation, actually, with live action, and it's titled The Phantom Toll Booth. Now, it's based on a classic children's book by Norton Juster, about a young boy who goes on a magical adventure after he drives his toy car through a mysterious toll booth. Well, the young boy is played by a live actor, Butch Patrick, who actually played Eddie on the TV series The Munsters. And several of the animated characters that he meets on this adventure are voiced by the great Mel Blanc. Now, Chuck Jones made this movie in 1968. It wasn't actually released until two years later because him, Jim, couldn't really figure out the best way to market and sell the finished film. And when it finally was released, the company put very little muscle behind it, that partially due to the fact that the MGM studio was itself struggling financially at that time. So there was really no money to promote this movie properly. And on top of that, the management at the studio kept changing. So the Phantom Toll Booth got pretty much lost in the shuffle. But on this Thanksgiving day, we're bringing it back to life. Here's a landmark film on two counts. It's the first and last animated feature made by both Chuck Jones and the MGM Studios. 1970, The Phantom Toll Booth. <laughs> 